Yeah. Welcome to the science training five lab. Before entering the lab, we need to follow some set report appointments. What is the set report? So first, this is the King's Borough set protocol. We all have to sign it up at the end. Here. But first we have to know what is in written in here. Okay. So when we enter to the lab, make sure you are not late. Because if you are late, then you will miss um, the beginning of the lab and uh, you will be late for the experiment too. Because we have like two hours to finish the lab. And if you do not do on time, so there should be the great, you, know, you will not get the data at the proper time and do in like. So we were not expecting more than 10 minutes to late come to the lab. So first we enter to the lab. We first need a lab coat because if there is some hazardous chemicals, if the chemicals spill to your body, so it may bury your body. So lab coat is important. Mm. Also, we need our goggles, which protect our eyes. Because sometimes the chemical has a field, it may contact with our eyes, or sometimes the chemicals are in powder. So when air flows, it will contact with our eyes and it may be dangerous for our eyes. So what? Safety first. So we need our goggles. Whoever uses the contact lenses, we should not use contact lenses in our lab because we are using sometimes heat. And lenses is very thin, it may melt and it may danger for your eyes. As we are handling our chemicals by hand, we need the gloves. So we are using the gloves. Gloves is very important as we are handling acids or base. And it, so we don't want to, to be in danger. We need gloves. We can use the nitrogen gloves. Um, there is no powder in it, so it's very comfortable to use. The other thing is a wig, because our sometimes boys has a long hair, so we need to tie our hair. Because uh, sometimes we use um, Benson bar, which one has uh, we we use the fire, so it may contact with the fire and it may burn your hair. Okay. Um, or otherwise, sometimes chemicals may spill and your hair comes forward and we contact with the chemicals. So, tie your hair. Also. Shoes is very important too. We need uh, power shoes. So, no free cloth. It may, in chemical spills, you, it may contact with your toes or legs. So, it should be covered with your toes. Um, if you see any injuries or if you break any glassware inside the lab, you would have to have contact with the lab technician. Do not take anything uh, that is has to be clean up or anything by yourself. So take your lab technician and find them or if you have any injuries, also tell them. Another thing is chemicals, some of the chemicals we use the um, fume hood to leave there because um, it may be toxic. So we don't want the fume go all over the laboratory. We have the safety side uh, for the lab. So whatever you take the chemical, if you take from the fume hood, it should be inside the fume hood. It should not be come out from the same room. Um, every chemical, uh, we use the level. So whenever you take from the chemicals from the, from the bottle, after you're taking it, you should um, close the tap of the bottle because um, it may spill the whole thing and you may mess up the lab. Um, sometimes you take um, the excess chemicals, remember, when you take the excess chemical, never try to put that on the main bar uh, because 
who knows that last word may be contact with the other chemicals. And if in contact with the other chemicals, it may react to there and you put it back to the main bottle. So our chemical would be our not will be the same chemical as before. So it may react with something and so don't ever, so if you have excess reactant or the waste product, it should be going to the waste bar. In the lab, before the lab, the lab technician will tell you where is the waste bottle. You will keep that on the waste bar. Never ever uh, drain the excess reactant or the um, product after doing the reaction in a, inside the little sink because we don't want our living creatures to be in danger. Sometimes uh, some of the chemicals will be um, pollution types, so may leakage our pipes or may contact with the update our uh, water outside the environment. So we don't want anything to be in danger. So everything should be in a proper time. So water, just in the water, you can drink. Otherwise, all the chemical will be going to the waste part. Another important thing is no food and drink inside the laboratory. Because you never know your food or drink may contact with the chemicals and you may consume it, which is dangerous for your health. And um, on your workplace, never put any other material. Only your lab manual if you have it, you put it there, your pen, calculator, that's it. No other thing. No cell phone, no nothing. So inside the laboratory, no cell phone. Because you have to be have very attentive when you do the experiment.